Hi, it's Dr. Arif Rajapura here, Director of Public Health at Blackpool Council. Um, This week's message is a little bit different because it's a year to the day since we had our first case case of coronavirus, COVID-19. And I wanted to sort of talk to you about the last year and how it felt um, doing that first video. I have to say, no one really fully knew what was about to unfold, um, but... Um, when I was doing that first video, um, I, I I don't mind admitting I was worried, concerned, a little bit scared, and I'd 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 have studied pandemics. I have studied what these pandemics can do to to society, and we've been faced with an unprecedented public health emergency. You know, like like no other that we've seen in our lifetimes. And we might never see, and hopefully we'll never see another um, pandemic like like this. Um, my responsibility at that stage was to actually work through the information, the data, um, and uh, keep the people of Blackpool as safe as I could. So, yes, I was, I, I, I was you know, worried about, what was going on because it's quite clear that these things are not just a public health emergency they end up affecting every facet of society individuals families jobs education mental health um you name it and that's what's happened that has had it's had an impact beyond just health this has impacted the whole of society i know that the people of blackpool have um been incredible really in in following the rules and the regulations and keeping the covid case, keeping covid cases as low as possible and we've managed to do that and we've managed to face those challenges uh, I, i've seen the incredible amount of hard work that's happened across um, the public sector the voluntary sector the private sector um, my nhs colleagues my council colleagues the voluntary sector partners um, All of those people, uh, along with the people of Blackpool, have done an incredible job in minimising the um, impact of this dreadful virus. My thanks to everyone that's that's worked really hard, um, from individuals who have complied and and continue to follow the rules. I know it's been really tough to um, people, you know, supporting others that that have obviously been affected by the the pandemic and. One of the things that I'm really proud of is the Corona Kindness Scheme that we set up quite early on. Um, This was to support anyone that was affected by the pandemic if they needed any sort of support, whether it be shopping or getting their medicines or or anything else that they that, that they needed because they they were they were self isolating because of COVID, etc. And uh, that was set up in a, in collaboration with the voluntary sector. So. I need to I need to, I need to say a big thanks to all our communities and voluntary sector groups that have really worked hard during the pandemic as well. So I'm really proud of that. And the, the other thing that um that I'm also really proud of is when we set up the mass vaccination site um at the Winter Gardens. Now that was a quite a pivotal moment for me because that's the the light at the end of the tunnel uh, for us to get out of this mess that we're in. Uh and being there on that first day was, well, I can't describe my emotions. It was just un- unbelievable uh, to be there at that on that day. I mean, the Winter Gardens, uh, uh, over the course of you know decades, has been used for various different purposes. Uh, never before has it been used for a mass vaccination site. So that that will get written in the history books. Uh, it was a re- it was quite a proud moment that that we'd been able to set that up and we managed to vaccinate so many people in such a short space of time. We're not there yet uh, in terms of going back to uh, normality. We've got the roadmap and we've got to, you know, cautiously approach. If we want to get back to normality as as is in the roadmap of, you know, uh, 21st of June when all the restrictions get lifted. Um, what I know is that the people of Blackpool have complied with all the rules and regulations we'll, and will continue to co- comply with the rules and regulations as we go into this next phase because of course we don't want anything to jeopardize um you know us getting, getting back to normality we need to get get there as quickly and as safely as possible and to do that we need to follow this cautious road map um so please um 
continue doing what you've been doing and and we'll 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 get there we will get there the end isn't far uh but it's not there yet thanks for listening <laughs>